Lesson three, OBS Ninja. I'm Chris. This is I'm Steve. Steve. Okay. And I'm in Germany, and Steve is in Toronto, Canada. So what did we learn so far? We did a basic setup thing. Um, we did a, we talked about rooms in the last episode, which I think is worth just reiterating a bit. A room is where multiple guests join, and they can use it just to talk to each other and see each other, like with like Zoom or anything else, pretty much. Okay. Um, oh, I said the Z word. <clears throat> anyway. Um, and uh, but the but the room also adds the ability for a director to use different of these guests in a scene and to and to pull solo links into a production in OBS or whatever uh, switcher you want to use. So the, the room is a really central concept, a really important concept. So I would think use the rooms, get familiar with them. If if you have no idea what this is about, go back to the second lesson because it is important. Um, but Having that said, there is also another way to use OBS, and um, we're going to demonstrate that in in a one-on-one -on -one fashion. Okay, I'm in Germany, you're in, in Canada, and we want to have a little chat, and we don't want to use a room for whatever reason. We can make OBS Ninja. Well, we we can create. I think you call it a fake room, right? It's a, a faux room, a fake room, yeah. A Absolutely. faux room, and um, let's just go to the browsers. Um, left browser is mine, and the right browser is yours and i will i will set up push link with well we did this in the first lesson obs ninja slash push equals my secret id um and then you would send up view equals my secret id but then i will add another option here another parameter which is a view equals um steve in canada uh -oh. okay let me change that first one to chris in germany and steve in canada okay. so so steve on his side would go and view chris in germany and push steve in canada and i will push chris in germany and view steve in canada and that's what i'm doing so always ninja is creating uh, a room without the whole room magic behind it. And there we go. And that is pretty awesome, I think. I think we can, I, I think this is the point to introduce um, two more things. The first thing is you could make this into more people. So we have a view equal Steve in Canada on my side, but I could have a view equal Steve in Canada comma Jack in France. And if oh, Jack yeah. in France is sending their stream under that ID, that would just add that third person to the room. I have to add them as a view. Right? Um, 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 let's, 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 let's leave that out. It's just, it's just the explanation of the concept. But um, you get the idea. You can view multiple streams at the same time in this one view. So you are pretty much creating your own scene this way. And that is pretty awesome. I like that. So you can list view IDs? Yep. So you list it with like a comma? Yep. View equals ID 1, comma, ID 2, comma, ID 3, and okay. so on. So build your own scene. And um, that gives you a lot of power, a lot of flexibility, a lot of control. Uh, and then when it comes to these kind of things, I like control. I like to be in charge of things. So. This is the first concept. Um, the second concept is, and I think this is the time to introduce additional parameters. And one parameter is the video bitrate. So you, as the viewer, get to decide how much how 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 much data you want to pull from the other side. So um, let's add this additional parameter. Video bitrate equals, and let's make this really crummy here, 100 kilobits per second. That's kilobits per second. That's a tenth of a megabit per second, what I'm pulling. And if I do that, I'll have to rejoin. I'm just refreshing this whole thing. So I'll share my camera again and click on start. And now have a look at Steve's video quality. Well, it's actually surprisingly good, but um, 
I mean, you can see him all blurry and the bit rate is and the frame rate is kind of down. And if I crank this up to, oh, let's go 3000, three megabits per second. So I'm reloading this whole view. Again, this is now a room, so I'll have to reshare my camera. And if I do that, it takes a second. And then here we go. Here we are. Much better quality. So that's how you do uh, video bit rates. And there's a whole bunch. We'll do an entire episode on its own about parameters and where they go and on which side they go. Because some of them are on the viewer side. Some of them are on the pusher side. Some of them are on both sides. So uh, I think it helps to do a bit about that. But that's kind of the concept. Add additional parameters to gain additional control over what you see or what you show. Make sense? Cool. Yeah, is there a reason why someone would use this over the the room? Uh, make, makes you feel more powerful. I don't know. But it is possible, right? It is definitely possible. So you could do it this way. Uh, yeah, well, the, 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 main, the main reason I could think of is the, the room uh, has some restrictions on it to make it more user-friendly. It limits mm -hmm. bit rates to around 300 kilobits per stream, and you cannot override that as a guest. Ah, but... Um, iOS devices um, come in as audio only in a room, and that's a limitation with iOS devices. And by creating your own setup like this, you, you can bypass those limitations. But you're right; it, it, power users would would want this over the over the room. So here's your power user feature with control over everything, but it also means you can mess things up much easier. So um, if you pull too high of a bit rate or get the wrong parameters there, you could uh, as well create a video stream that doesn't work or um, something that makes it worse. So the room is trying to keep that in check, but uh, we're grown-ups here, so that's how we do it. OK, <laughs> I think that's enough for this lesson. Let's come back next lesson with, let me check in our spreadsheet. Um, yeah, oh, adding a source to OBS, that's going to be interesting. So 